And there's a prayer in the Bible that we need to pray for ourselves and for the people we love. Because if it's not fully powered and charged up in our lives, we may make it, but it won't be pretty. The prayer is in Ephesians, and I've copied it into the notes below too. It says, I pray that you, being rooted and established in love, may have power, together with all the saints, to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ. And to know this love that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. And that's up to the top fullness. That means the tank in your life is running at the F, not the E. It's so sad that so many of us are living on a tank that just isn't full. It may not be empty, but it's certainly not filled to the top. And you know, in a car, that's okay. There's no loss of power or performance when the gas tank is full or when it's empty. As long as there's gas, when you press the pedal, the car goes. But our lives are more like flashlight batteries than car engines. And if you've ever reached for a flashlight, you know, turned it on and had the light dimmer than you're expecting, you've seen the difference between a full and not so fully charged battery. Every now and then, my friends and I go snorkeling at night, night diving, incredibly beautiful in the ocean at night with all the activity on the reef, but gotta confess, a little spooky with all that activity on the reef. My wife feels that I'm somehow safer if my friend Keikoa goes out with us. She thinks, and as a matter of fact, I do too, that if we ever got attacked by a shark, he could probably save us somehow or sacrifice himself for the rest of us. We always, always go out with fresh batteries because to have your light go dim or go out is not a desirable situation. The one time I said, and I went out without Kekoa was also the time that we figured we'd use whatever old batteries were left, just straight lazy and cheap. And of course, that night, two of the three dive lights went dim within minutes of our session and completely out in half an hour. And of course, that night, we met up with a fully alert and charged reef shark swimming right to us. I felt like we were in the movie 300 or something with my sons around my back trying to track the shark's movement with our one remaining flashlight as we quickly made our way back to shore. I'm trying to think about how I'm going to explain this to my wife and you know what happened if... Just terrifying. All right. Obviously, less than fully charged batteries are not good. And a life that is less than fully charged with the love of Christ, also not good. Every day, remember to reconnect to the full love of Christ that you may be filled with that fullness. Spend the time you need plugged into your power source. This may be Bible study, prayer, meditation, music, or praise. Even this three-minute message can help charge you up. Never let a day go by without plugging in, without recharging, because if you don't, you'll see the difference. Or maybe, in the dark, you won't. And when you go diving at night, please, please use uh, fully charged batteries.